Generic greetings and welcome back once again to another chill session on Power Wash Simulator. Today's beverage is a very nice glass of orange juice with juicy bits and ice. Very nice indeed. So welcome back to the game. In the previous episode, we started cleaning this monstrosity. This is the gnome fountain and it's quite an intricate job. It's got lots of height to it and also lots of embellishments and other details on it which makes it quite annoying to clean. Well, maybe not annoying at this stage, but certainly a trick uh, a tricky thing to clean. So yeah, we're just cracking on with the cleaning here and we're on 15% cleaned. I'd like to at least get to, well, double that to, say, 30%, although I have a feeling and actual hope, really, rather than anything else, that it will get a little bit easier as we get towards the floor. Now, obviously, we are on the second level at this stage. We've done the top level previously. However, the issue that we will encounter is, basically, it's going to get a lot bigger. Uh, you've got, like, a oh, another tier there, then it goes down and... Obviously, it's quite a large surface area, so we'll just see, as always, how we get on here. So, up to a 16% clean, so that is pretty good. Just going to go ahead and clean this lower basin ball here, giving it a fairly decent once-over as we work towards the edge. And then we've got, obviously, the gnomes and other statues around there. I have a feeling that those gnomes in particular may present us with some issues, mainly because, quite frankly, uh, we can't really stand on anything below to spray up to them so that's gonna yeah that is gonna cause us some issues there but as always we'll see we'll see how we get on we've also got this edge to to worry about as well but when i can i'm just sort of hitting the uh hitting the norms there see if we can get some uh, nice cleaning in and same for this side the ball is relatively clean so that is fine however the issues that obviously we may encounter is that we've got some little bits like uh those extra you just saw there is uh well, it could just be quite a little bit problematic. I'm also guessing that uh, oh no, it doesn't actually go under, which is which is fine there. Um, also missed apparently a huge section here because because <laughs> well I did and I don't know how I managed that one, but uh, yeah, I'll just clean on this side, clean on this edge here. No overspray because of the height we're working at, so that's a bit of a shame. But we are able to get obviously this norm as well, and now up to 17%. Um, I guess we've worked one way. So we'll work the other way, just so we can get on the other side of certain things. So like that, and we'll go to the edge just to clean around there, and then go underneath and maybe sort of go to this norm here as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's alright, nice and clean there. Um, oh yeah, that norm over there is definitely in need of a clean, and also obviously little bits around the ball. I'll work on this side, and we can see, yeah, there are bits... Uh, on there as well and the norm we haven't used any cleaning fluid on these norms uh, previously we'd use the cleaning fluid on a couple of things it was mainly just the up oh, there we go there is that uh, basin cleaned which I'm happy with yeah we've we've cleaned like the the central pillar here which had several bits of graffiti on it so obviously we went and uh, made sure that that was pretty much sorted so I'm happy with that um, let's just head this side I'm just gonna get this this nice little piece of detail here and then on the norm and then what we might do is go to maybe underside and spray around and see if we can get like any bits there done because I have a feeling that that's where we're gonna maybe finish this off although this <laughs> it does feel like it's gonna be one of the more difficult things to clean okay so we're just gonna jump down and is there anywhere we can place the ladder to give us like a sort of halfway up no we can't it just has to be placed sort of there okay right well what i'll do i'll, I'll hit this from underneath um and see just how much we can get cleaned and oh actually re that was pretty handy we actually got most of that cleaned which is pretty good i'm uh, fairly happy with that what i'll do then is i'll just spray uh, all of these then from underneath and see what we can get cleaned in uh, in just one go so yeah there's a huge chunk that sticks out so cleaning that does help we were using the we're using the long extension, not using the extra long. I think I'm going to switch over to the 15 degree nozzle. That will probably help us out. And there's that done. And the norm is... Well, it's not getting clean to uh, the game's satisfaction. So we'll have to come back to that. But as I said, mainly focus at the moment on these... On these... Vlutes. And hit the norm there. I have a feeling we're going to be standing on a ladder trying to clean that for about 16 hours but 
other estimates of time are also available that may be also a little bit more accurate in the time scales. I mean, the gnomes are almost done. They're sort of like 80, 85% there for the cleaning progress. It's just a little bit that we are that we are missing. So I might just have to go and stand on top of the things. And I'm just going to give it a good once-over around here. Let's see, hitting it from underneath. So there's that one sprayed. That's fine. This one will do the same thing. Just pressing tab to get our magic dirt view. I'm not saying the dirt is magic. I'm just saying the view we use for the dirt is magic. I also might as well go around... I might as well go around here as well, because these... It's the, uh, the lower edge that we're trying to clean. So if we just clean the lower edge. Oh, oh, hang on. Are these? Oh, these are individual sections. Right. Okay. So it is actually good that we go around and do that. So I'll do just that. Work our way around. Oh, that gnome's actually clean. Brilliant. Is that clean? As I mentioned previously, that I think what will happen is we'll get to a point where, because of the because we're on the ground, it hopefully will speed up underneath the gnome there. Some bits under the hands. Working under here. Seems a bit rude to do this, but whatever. Uh, ladder's in the way, but I, as far as I'm aware, the ladder does not obstruct the flow of water. And it didn't seem to, so that's fine as well. Is that done? Good satisfaction as we're getting all them nice little ting noises. And there's that norm clean. So we've actually claimed. Claimed? Hmm. Sounds like something from. <laughs> Sounds like a name from Rick and Morty. Ah, yes. Mr. Clean. Uh, yeah, we are cleaning the majority of this pretty well. And two out of the four norms are clean as well, so that's good. And also, I think. All the edges. That norm's clean. That one's clean. It's just this one. Nope, not anymore. Okay, so we've actually cleaned all the edges. Wow. I am very surprised about that. Brilliant, right. So what I'll do then is I'm going to clean um, this lower base. Or oh, is that lower base as well? Right, okay. Oh my good... Oh, right, okay. So you do have to jump up to clean that. So, oh, no, can you stand on these? I think you can stand on these. Yes, you can. I'm not going to do that. Um, what I'll do is I'll work around. I don't know if the extra long extension would be uh, useful in this case. Is it useful here? Um, it really is, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think we're going to stick with that. So you've got these lower walls... Also the trim as well. Okay. I'm uh, I'm seeing what's going on. I'm picking up what what it's putting down. Right. Let's just keep going then. Get the worst off. Under there mainly, like that. And then we will have to stand on something eventually. I mean, we are standing on something now, you understand, but uh, what I mean is we will have to stand on some of the edge pieces eventually, which may prove problematic, but we'll see. We're still getting a lot of those, those sort of straps that go around. And we're already on 20%, which is pretty good. Just working around. over here. Inside there we'll have to take a little bit more time in maybe cleaning that. It's quite satisfying that little spray there. Good. Work from this side maybe. At the moment no cleaning fluid required. <clears throat> All this is base is it? Yeah. Oh, that's base. It's all about the base, this thing. It's an old reference server to check sound. 
Uh, let's go for maybe under there. Yeah, different angles. We're gonna get different, different bits cleaned. Because we're looking up, though, it's it's a bit of an issue. That's good. Not looking forward to standing on these pillars. We'll have to do it eventually. That's good. A bit more under there. Maybe on the here as well. Yeah, that seems to work. And there we go. I think that's maybe not all, but certainly the majority of things. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stand on this, go crouched, and go for the long extension. And spray all in here. Getting what I can underneath. Apparently there's a piece there that I can't get, is that right? Huh, oh, I'd have to stand up to do it. Which I'm now done, so that's sorted. So yeah. Majority of that done, and then the same thing on each one of these. So it's a similar thing. Just crouched. Wish it was prone, I think. Yeah, it's showing on the right hand side what we're currently doing, which is crouched. Crouched over. But for some reason, it's not getting that. So you have to be right underneath. Then we'll stand up. Get those bits. I think that's about right. Yeah, that's, that's good. Nice and clean. So the majority you can get from just being crouched rather than prone or standing. Go underneath here. Although there's not really much to clean from underneath. There's the odd little bit there, but nothing we're too concerned about. And finally. We'll do this one as well. And this all class is the base as well, so we've got a lot to work with. Not much overspray, but that's alright, I guess. Go underneath just to make sure we can get these little sections here. Go on there. And stand up to get that one bit there and one bit there. Job done. Right, so I guess we'll just spray... Right under here then, because we're going to go for this base. Obviously we've got the columns and such to deal with, but... Trying to take it in each individual section, really. Trying to get... Ooh. Bit of, bit of dirt there. We're trying to get one bit done before we move on to other pieces. I'm once again seeing this, which is uh, graffiti. I think I'm going to hit up the long extension there. Stuck on the steps. Yeah, um, I think we'll have to use some cleaner on some of this. Ah, oh, that is actually graffiti there. Okay. Underneath. Well, I'll get the worst off. I think I'm going to go back to the long extension. Just gives us the right coverage with the right power. We've got a bit more range and a bit more power with the extra long, but the thing is, we're hitting graffiti anyway, so it's not giving us any additional cleaning properties, so there you go. In terms of our uh, usage of cleaning fluids, we've used a tiny bit for the stone work, which was up the top, and a really small amount on the um, it was on the Embellishments up there, the upper basin decoration it says. And we used a tiny bit on that because they were absolutely filthy. Which we managed to fix in quite short order. I 
this is the last column here. At least the blending in. We should get a ting off this. And there it is. Okay. What I'll do now is I'm going to cut in around the columns. Let's see if I can get each individual column done. Uh, we're on a long extension. I think that's probably acceptable what we're doing here. So I'm just going to try and get each of the columns done. Because the overspray will clean some of the other stuff. One could argue that if you clean this first, then you would get overspray on the columns, but yeah, it's fine. Relatively easy to do, actually. We've also got these bits here, which are flourishes, it says. It calls them flourishes. Yeah, they're quite, yeah. Yeah, quite big flourishes. So we'll clean the flourishes as well. Don't know what the best way of doing this is, but spraying like this seems to be effective. So we'll switch to this side. I have to go up here to get inside there as well. There's the little issue with that nozzle sometimes, not hitting where you would expect it to. But there we go. Just going to jump on here. We'll get this other flourish done. We might have to stand on top of that and clean a bit in a second, but we'll see what we can do with just doing this side. Hmm. Yeah, it's not going to happen, is it? We're going to have to stand on here and spray away all that dirt. And then I'm guessing going in here. There we go. Okay. To be expected, but that's fine. Game once again. <laughs> giving us slight issues when it comes to navigation. Just tripping over everything, but we're okay now. Got another column of loot here. And as expected, now that we're not having to clamber over loads of little detail, progress has definitely been improved. We're on a 24% clean now, which is excellent. Certainly a lot more to clean than I originally thought looking at the looking at the map from the browser. I thought, oh yeah, that's that's going to be uh, quite a quite a decent one to do because it's going to be very detailed, but also will have some issues when it comes to the the verticality and the detail and intricacy of the, some of the things on the map. But quickly thought, no, it's not going to be as detailed as the mini golf course, I think that it is, the other one that's here. And just this column here. And we're just going to jump up in there, clean in there, yeah. actually clean the majority from there, which is pretty good, very clean. Okay, once again tripping over these little bits, but after this we've got a smooth seal and all that graffiti to get rid of. Should be easy because we're going to use our cleaner, most likely we will use uh, the pressure washer with the 25 degree or 15 degree nozzle just to get the majority of the caked on muck removed then we'll hit that graffiti looking at it there doesn't seem to be any easter eggs in there give it a quick clean see like most of that stuff removed like that all we really see is graffiti it's just general stuff there's no spoilers or easter eggs should I say I think that's limited to the campaign setting so there we go clean around that the thing is once we've got this base done we've got <laughs> a lot of flat surfaces to do so there's a lot of time 
to go into this, but that's all right. It is quite detailed and it's quite intricate, but it's also fairly chill. This one, it's it's not the treehouse, okay? <laughs> I think the treehouse has to be. Out of all the maps in the game, the treehouse was the one that nearly broke me. <laughs> I almost said, "No, no, we give in." <laughs> yeah, it was. It was very, very uh, detailed. That one. And lots of vertical stuff. And I didn't—I just didn't have the right equipment as well. I didn't have the pro pr pressure washer. I didn't have the extra long extension because at the time I don't think it existed. Yeah. I mean, after that, what other ones? There was that... Uh, that temple, I think it was. That was quite difficult. Again, because it was quite tall, but also you're having to... Stand on one leg on a spire, essentially, to clean parts of it. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of that one. And the subway, I can't say I was a huge fan of that either, really. On reflection, it was just too... It was too large. There was very few... Satisfying tings to be had. Because it was just huge sections of wall you could be spraying for 20 minutes before you got it done. One can argue that's the game, get it cleaned, put up and shut up, but, uh, yeah. One could argue also, it is a game, and it should be fun. And I didn't find it that, but it's, what it's also all down to personal preference, isn't it? I've heard some people saying they really like it, and it's one of their favourites. I reckon it's going to be a good one for multiplayer. Especially if there's up to... F oh, I don't know how many, how many players you can play multiplayer in the campaign, but... If you could have, like, four people playing that map... Put it into quadrants and go. <laughs> like different challenges, um, and I think we're done there. Oh yeah, we are. Okay, so we're just going to head over to the central section then, this column, um, and I'm going to clean going up. Oh, it's a shame. That, it's a shame that, that little insert there is not. It's 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 not. Uh, it's not different from this column. Okay. So what I'm going to do. Spray all of that, then just keep working around, and all we're doing is removing the dirt. The graffiti we will remove on a second pass in but a moment. There we go. A lot of this has already been sprayed anyway because of our cleaning of the columns. And I'm going to assume this is why we've been given cleaner, because otherwise cleaning this graffiti off using only the second most powerful pressure washer in the game might be a little bit of an issue. Take some time, put it that way. I see different coloured graffiti sprays as well. Got some greens, reds, oranges, blues. Now it's just going down the bottom here. I think most of the columns anyway are cleaned. Uh, go around the ladder. Try not to touch it because it will lock you on essentially. And go from there. Could use the aim mode, couldn't we? Actually, aim mode's not too bad on this one. I don't know how people feel about the aim mode. Central the camera first, then activate aim mode. It certainly has slightly altered the way you spray things. Um, I think that's pretty much clean. Okay, so we're going to go with the... Soap nozzle. We got a stone cleaner there. And there's that bit. Oh, those are actually individual sections, are they? Right. I thought they were all one. 
to be fair, I only thought that because they were all about the same progress. So, yeah. There's our satisfying tings going on here. Refill cleaning liquid. I think we only start with... I think we only have a total of three of these, so we've used one. But that's alright. That's what it's for. It's there to be used. Um, okay. So there's the columns. Back over to cleaning. Mm, 25 degree spray nozzle, perhaps. And spray the top here. This is all column base, is it? Okay. Um, what is worrying is that you have to get in there like that. Okay. It's not really worrying, but... It's a point of note, anyway. Uh, no, I do think, yeah, going with that is always probably best. I thought I'll switch back to the... to the other sprayer. But no. Oh! Ah, oh, these are all individual. Right, okay. Um. Hmm. Yeah, instead of going all the way around, what I'll do... <coughs> excuse me. Is I will clean each of these bases and then move to the next one. I think that would be a little bit more interesting than going around the other way. Maybe here. Yeah, and get these stone bases this way. Yeah, it's what to do. We'll do that. We'll do that. Then on the top. Okay, that's good. That that's given me a little bit, a little bit of a relief. That actually, because I was cleaning there, I thought we'd have to stand on the statue, on the fountain, should I say, to get right in between the bricks, and it doesn't look like that's the case. Yeah, you can just stand sort of here, and you'll get the majority of it. Okay, that's good to know. 30% cleaning, which is what I want to accomplish with this episode, so that's at least the minimum. But obviously we're going to co continue going. We've got more than enough time remaining. You can see a lot of this is already sort of clean anywhere because of the where we've been doing things. All the spray, etc. Some mildew down here as well, so it just takes a little bit longer to clean stuff. That's alright. There's that one done. Let's clean along here. I thought that was graffiti at first, but it's not, just some nice embellishment. Some nice. I don't know what you call it, Muriel? No, not really. It's nice though. Nice inlay. Go. Stand up. Clean all of that. And then back to here. Curious though, when you look at all of that, you think, wow! Oh, we've done loads! Huh. <laughs> You've done 30%, mate, is what the game's telling me. <laughs> so... It's certainly one of the larger um, cleaning jobs in the game. And you do have to jump a lot. You really have to jump a lot. Obviously you're not going to hit this with the cleaner. No need at this stage. Don't need to do any of that. So, back to this bit. Clean nicely, yeah, it's good. And then just a couple more on the left. Oh, and obviously the one in the middle, what we're doing now. I don't know how we got all this, like, red colouring on it. Somebody's ran past him, just flung a box of poster paint on it. <laughs> Powder paint. <laughs> Oh, thought we were going to get that clean then on that little section, but apparently not. 
Maybe go underneath. Yeah, there we go. Easily done that one, I think. This is probably the first time for a long time. That, that makes no sense. Yes, but it's, we haven't for a long time used anything other than pretty much exclusively the 15 degree nozzle. I mean, yeah, we might have got some cleaner out. I used the, the zero degree, like, long range thing. Why can't I jump? There we go. But I think this is, like I say, it's been a while since we've just used this uh, this nozzle here. So you've got found uh, plinth foundation cap and then the foundation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this cap. And we'll just work our way along. Cuts through it quite nicely. Mm. So is the cap... Yeah, question. Is the cap the same all the way around? It looks like it is. It looks like it is. I guess it would make sense as well. So, just take our time. I don't know if that band that I'm standing on is also a separate thing. It doesn't seem to be. It just says cap. I mean, it does change in terms of its construction, its material. It says metal, whereas obviously what I'm cleaning now is stone. There we go. Just make sure we get in all of here. I'm going to work around, around the ladder. I mean, that ladder's pretty much... We don't need it anymore, I don't think. Well, there might be a bit up top <laughs> that I've missed. Um, that we have to then get the ladder out to, to head back up. That's sort of inevitable, really. Yeah, we'll see how we get on. It's there if we need it. It's there if we need it. Along there. That's fine. Back in that corner. Yeah, this... This 15, uh, the 25 degree green nozzle seems to be working well. I just think, imagine what we could do if we had the, uh, say the, <laughs> that's done. Imagine what we could do if we had the, the pro pressure washer. <laughs> the pro pressure washer would be fairly ridiculous. I think you'd be able to run the 40 degree white nozzle, honest, in all honesty. I don't think there'd be any big problem with that. I think it would, would work pretty well. So what I'm doing here is the stone foundation. I noticed it, uh, it sort of stops at that line. So why I've sort of Start doing what I'm doing here. See, it's things like that that are really problematic because you're trying to clean around and <clears throat> you can't. So you're hitting that and bumping into it. and Yeah. And you have to drop down. All part of the game, though, I guess. Crouch down to get that done. And there we go. So might as well do that. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll cut in around first, around all of them. Near the floor. Like this. And when I come to the join, give that a good spray. And then keep working round. So we then essentially made a line in the sand to say, look, this is where we're going to clean to. This is what's, like, acceptable, essentially. Obviously missing a couple of pieces as well, but that's alright. Come back to that. Is that graffiti or no, it's just detail in the in the stonework there. Just 
Actually, take that side. Actually, probably hitting it at the 45 is probably... Yeah, it's probably better. Get in there. There we go. See, so yeah, hitting like that. Oh, yeah, that's much better. Yeah, because we're getting the brick. And we're getting the floor. And it's just a bit better. There's another line we have to do. Just got a crouch. Even a prone, maybe. There we are. One here. I like the way the spray, like the, the sort of bounce back of it, changes based on the angle. Down there. And along here. We'll jump on top of this because we can. And then up to that. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's pretty good. Um, now we're going to do this one from here, maybe. Yeah, we'll from here. And before I clean the sides, I'm going to go up here and do the top. The very top. Not necessarily the sides on it, this bit here, but definitely the top. Because we need to get that done anyway. If we do it in one go, it just gives us somewhat less to worry about. Because why not? Just skip these ladders. A little bit of a once over and rinse, that's good. And now from here. <sighs> Try the aim mode again. <laughs> yeah, it seems to work. Bit difficult to turn, because you have to move the, to the edge of the screen like that. <laughs> yeah. I'll go back to the the default way of doing it, I think. Let's put it underneath. Hmm. And another section done. Which is good. Maybe slow the cleaning down just a touch. Just so we don't have to come back again on another pass. All that normally is. <laughs> it's sort of inevitable, really. Thirty-eight percent clean though, which is good. We'll probably be on about forty, I would imagine, by the time these I was gonna call them steps, because they do look like steps, but I have to remember that this is normally covered in water, so I mean, there could be steps. You could use them as steps. Probably not their intended purpose. There we go. Be more of a cascade of water coming down them realistically. Can we do the entire section in one go like that? Yes, we can. Just to mix it up a little. We'll back up and crouch, though. Then get under here. That's nice. Spring under there. I said the ladders... Oh, the ladders do seem to impede. Cleaning. Oh, I thought they didn't. I didn't think they had a hitbox when it came to the uh, the water. Apparently they do. There we go. Just clean this in two sections, I think. And it is coming up quite nicely, which is good to see. A couple of bits of mist there. Using our cleaning view, our dirt view, dirt finder. I was going to say dirt sharks, but isn't that one of the metal detecting groups and the detectorists? 
Yeah, I think so. Because there are only about three people now, I think, about detectorists. Yeah, TV series. Comedy. Brilliant. About metal detecting. Well, not about metal detecting. Contains metal detecting. About many other things. A lot of heart. Lots of room to breathe in it as well. But, uh... One of the rival groups. They change names every series, I think. Might even change multiple times in one series. Tick Researchers, Terra Firma, Dirt Sharks, and there's a couple of others. <laughs> so, more, new, more useless information available at, at other videos. And we're on 40%. We've hit the 40% mark. Good. Didn't think we would. I'm glad we have. And things have definitely speeded up. Um, on this map, now that we're on ground level. Got these sort of lights in there as well, I think. Yeah, it says raised pool light. So I wonder what that is. It's probably a light. I'm sort of stuck now. With that, yeah, that behind me. And I think once we've done this, we'll wrap this episode up. Seems to be a perfect place to call it. And... There we go, I think. Plinth Foundation cleared. Okay, we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Power Wash Simulator. We have got, I would say, the big details done. So, you know, the standout piece is that one in the middle. With this basin, the columns, all of the gnomes pouring water, etc. All the foundations, plinths, embellishments. And that's still only 41%. 59 remaining. Which is basically all of this. So this pool floor, wall cap, reservoirs, lower pool floor, all of these gnomes around the outside, and the wall as well. So it's just work. It is just work, this one. But it's a chill work, because there's nothing to really... Apart from these, there's nothing much, I think, to stress over. And you can see that pool wall is getting cleaned relatively easily. What I might do, I don't know if I'll clean this, I might go ahead and clean all of the, like, the ridge caps here because the overspray will give us a little bit extra so we might see about doing that. Either way we are going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Power Wash Simulator. Hope you have enjoyed the episode and if nothing else it's been a chill one. That's what this series is about, just chilling and yeah. <laughs> People have said they like putting it on just before going to bed and it puts them to sleep. Um, Not an indictment. <laughs> do not take offence to that at all. <laughs> Whatever you get out of these videos is all cool. Either way, hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic pardons.